All right, let's take you back to Graham this morning with breaking news. An Alamance Burlington Elementary school bus has crashed into a business and some students are hurt. This is a look at the damage where seven students were hurt and six taken to the hospital in Chapel Hill. WFMY News 2's Taylor Leverett is live at the staging area there as far as we can get to. Taylor, what do we know now? Yeah, I'm here with Terry Johnson, the Alamance um, County uh, Sheriff's Sheriff. And tell me exactly, so it was right up the road here that the crash happened. So walk me through a little bit about how the bus got into, um, into the business and crashed there. Well, uh, he was coming up 87, uh, which is route, picking up kids for the elementary school is uh, on his route. And uh, here's the bus went off the road and uh, went into a, uh, uh, it's like a garage, corner of a garage, injuring uh, seven children. Uh, one was carried to the hospital by the parent. The other six were transported uh, either to UNC at Chapel Hill or ARMC here in Alamance County. There was no real, real, real serious injuries. Of course, any injury is serious to a kid. Mm -hmm. But uh, everybody worked together. It was amazing to see the school system out here, uh, Eli Whitney Fire Department, uh, Alamance County Emergency Medical S uh, Services, our Sheriff's Office, the Highway Patrol, mm -hmm. and uh, Orange County uh, brought a couple ambulances here because mm -hmm. we didn't have enough ambulances uh, in service to transport. Mm -hmm. And can you say what kind of made that bus crash? Well, I, I will not speak for the Highway Patrol. They're the ones doing the investigation, but it looks like to me a back right tire went flat, mm -hmm. pulling the bus off the side road because there was two witnesses mm -hmm. that was supposedly behind the bus that said the bus went uh, back, looked like dropped mm -hmm. and pulled. And then from there, there was nothing the driver could do but try to hold it together. Wow. And it hit the building. And I think the impact of hitting the building is what hurt some of the children. And thankfully, they were transported safely to a nearby hospital Absolutely. to get taken care of. And and there were no fatalities. No. And I would like to thank the Orange County Emergency Services, Alamance County Emergency Services, the Highway Patrol, the school system, Eli Whitney Fire Department, because it took all of us at this time of day to handle the situation down there with the traffic. Uh, it was amazing. And Everybody sure. I see you getting a little emotional. You know, this is your oh, community, yeah. you know, coming together and, and helping to save these children, especially in a dangerous situation. Absolutely. Uh, we got a good county here. People do work together, but when you talk about kids, it's touching, yeah. you know. Cool. Luckily, they're safe. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yes, thank you. Yes, ma'am. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Wow, that was powerful yes. information yes. there. We also have an update from Highway Patrol. The sheriff had said he didn't want to speculate what they're doing in their investigation, but this is from a trooper on scene who said the bus was going northbound on 87, veered to the right, hit a concrete culvert, which is that concrete pipe underneath a driveway, mm -hmm. and they continued off the roadway and eventually hit that building, which we know is Lloyd's Septic, and the family in that building and that business came out to help the children. This was an all-hands-on-deck effort to make sure that they were safe. And, you know, I know um, Sheriff John, and is uh, he's emotional about this because anytime there's children involved, all of mm -hmm. us, you know, yeah. it kind of takes on a whole different light. Uh, the eyewitnesses apparently think that the tire blew out mm -hmm. and, and caused all of that and why the driver did their best. You know, one, I, we haven't heard anything about the driver yet. I don't know if that's one. Yeah, Does that's it say also anything? In the, the driver is okay, had minor injuries okay. and was not transported. Okay, and mm -hmm. as we get more information, we, of course, we'll pass it on to you here. Yes. Um, don't forget to follow us online. You'll get immediate information there at WFMYNews2.com and on our social media channels as well.